This is a 2009 SEC 18-1. It weighs 26.6 grams or 1 ounce and is normally powered by about 12 volts at 30 milliamps. It's used for wireless electricity experiments and those of spatial energy coherence, which is SEC. There are three coils on board. The first is 20UH axial inductor. The second is spool wound. I'm not sure of the inductance for that one. And the third has 70 turns on it. The actual diameter of that coil is the same as a solder tube. The underneath has a very fine trace there across the power inputs and from lid motors comments that can actually blow and may need to be repaired if the device is used in a wrong way. The transistor is an MPSA06 and you do get a spare one when you order one of these. But you can make an adapter, it's a very simple thing like I've done here three male pins on the bottom, three pieces of wire, then connect whatever you like, emitter base collector or emitter collector base. Uh, this one in fact is the KN2222 which its collector has actually got the pin broken off so that allowed connecting that up to test it and in fact it runs fine on this circuit. Tuning of the setup should be done with this small variable capacitor and should be done with something plastic like this because metal screwdrivers and such will affect the tuning I mean just by touching the top there of the variable capacity you can see it does tune but you end up with an effect as soon as you touch the same is true with the hand, you put the hand anywhere near to the coils and you end up with interference going on so that's why use plastic or wooden. This is an AV plug by the way, it's two diodes facing opposite directions connected at one end to a piece of wire and the other end to an LED and that allows showing the field range very simply by holding in the hand. Also right over there whoops, <laughs> is uh, just another coil about 90 turns on that with an LED and a few diodes in a similar arrangement and that's being powered quite a distance away with no ferrite rod or anything. Um, which brings me on to this actually, the Stifler SFM, my version of it, does run wirelessly with a clip lead on the back. Lighting the internals of LED mains bulbs has been a bit difficult um, with a few setups but simply holding in the hand and touching to the top the pigtail of the L3. Marvellous job. That's the Dollar Tree 8 watt. This one has got a MOSFET on it and a bunch of other components. Well there's spaces there for resistors. There's a couple of resistors up here and in fact on this one I dremeled through the LED, one of the LEDs so that's a bridge with a piece of wire there but using two diodes again. There we are. That comes on really very nicely. You can also attach a clip lead to the large L3 coil and then you can run lots of things just by putting them near to it. This uh, LED is on really very nicely indeed, that's the Dollar Tree 8 watt and then things are just spread around all over the place. And finally a quick note about what happens with an AV plug when you've got this kind of arrangement with a clip lead. And here this is already running wirelessly. I picked this up and the field itself is just all over the table, <laughs> all over there. So I'll put some more information in the description box below and hopefully that's been an interesting introduction. Okay, thanks for watching.